Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, here with another book from my bookshelf, and this time we have Sports Illustrated, The Hockey Book. Now, if you are a hockey fan like me, you're going to want to pick up this book. I saw a couple of them used on Amazon. I don't know that they have too many new available. It was in the $76 range. Look, anytime I love a sport, I'm going to pick up a book that chronicles the history of it as well as the modern photos. I, I love photography and I love hockey. You put those two things together and you're going you're gonna to have a winning book for me. Uh, what I love in, in this book, obviously Sports Illustrated was there. To, oh, screw you, Dominic Hasek. It's a great photo, but I hate Dominic Hasek. I'm not a fan. He was... I'm not a fan. Anyway, I get very adamant about hockey. I love talking hockey with anybody. If you ever see me and you want to talk hockey, we'll definitely do it. But look at this. Oh, th what's cool about this photograph, it's Wayne Gretzky going around on Grant Fuhrer after he was traded. You got Yari Curry right here. So Gretzky used to play for the Oilers, and this is in 1988 when he played for uh, when they got traded to L.A. There's some great photographers in here. This is David E. Calutho. He, um or David E. Clutho, he has so many photographs in here. Now, I don't know if there's any Bruce Bennett in here because I don't know if he worked for uh, Sports Illustrated at all, but if you love photography and hockey photography, I sat down with Bruce Bennett, who is basically known as the NHL photographer or the hockey photographer, and did a raw talk with him. You can click up on the screen right here. It's going to take you over to that interview where you can go and enjoy the hockey talk that we had down at the Philadelphia Flyers game right on the bench. But these photos are tremendous. You've got Gordy Howe right here. Just look at the class classic images from 1951. Some of the older, I mean, look, the, the history of hockey is great. One of the greatest hockey photos ever is Bobby Orr right here getting tripped up in front of the net and getting captured. It's not like it was a motor drive shot. The guy didn't have that at that point. He just was able to capture this, one of the best hockey shots of all time. So there's some talk, you know, you can read some text. I like looking at the photos because I like looking at the photos. What can I tell you? Just, oh, is that Chris Chelios? There's nobody I hate more in hockey than Chris Chell. There's a few guys. He's one of the top five disliked players, in my opinion, uh, that I don't like. I don't like – and that's during warm-ups. You can tell it's during warm-ups because his chin strap isn't strapped. During the game, it would have been. So you go through here, you get the history of hockey. I love the old photographs. Goal cam from whatever year this is, look at this. Look, they could use these big strobes. They do use strobes today, but the images are so gorgeous from back then. So nice. Even look at this. This is new, modern. It's the same. Like, hockey shots kind of all look the same now because it's pretty generic. You can still get some good ones. But look at the, look at the shot like that. Eh, I don't care so much about that. Oh, it's Bobby Clark. I'm sure a lot of people don't like Bobby Clark, but I'm from Philly, so I like Bobby Clark. Goal cams. Look, chicken coop, chicken wire behind the net. They didn't even have uh, – it looks like it's in Detroit. They didn't even have anything. Look, at the goal's being scored because the goal light's on. Classic. This stuff is tremendous. It's awesome. Mario Lemieux, Wayne Gretzky, Patrick Waugh, another shot from up top. It's just classic, classic, unbelievable shots. Look at this. Just hockey shot after hockey shot. Oh, that was Sidney Crosby. Oh, I don't like him. He's a great player, but I don't like him. Anyway, enough about who I like and who I don't like. But there's stuff in here where they show you the Stanley Cup rings. This is great stuff. You've got things like the, they show you the different masks that the goalies used to wear. So not only are you getting a history of hockey in this book, you're also getting a chronicle of some of the greatest hockey photos of all time. I could go on for hours talking about hockey and photography, of course. But this is a book that if you love photography and you love hockey, you want to pick up Sports Illustrated, the hockey book, Another book on my bookshelf, Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. So I hope you like that from my bookshelf video, but if you want to check out other ones, you can click right here. It's going to take you to a playlist of from my bookshelf. And also, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so. The box is right here. Click the subscribe button so you can be notified when new videos go live.